Just thought I'd show you how we got our water set up for the garden this year. Our house well is only a couple gallons a minute. So we have to be really careful with how much of that we use. And being as it's so dry, a little bit worried about how long that'll last. So uh, we've been using our house well just on these soaker hoses uh, to try and get our beds started. And uh, these are 50 foot beds. And I got two 50 foot soaker hoses and they're tied together down here with a little valve I can turn each side on and off and uh, I run it for an hour or so and then I move them so about halfway into the bed each one and that gives the beds a really good soak without running our house well out of water and you can run two of these in the house without really noticing too much uh, you can still wash dishes and and uh, run the water in the house without running short so that being said uh, this whirly gig here is running off of some dugout water and I hauled the truckload in and it's in that 500 gallon tank there and that's just doing that on gravity and I've been trying to do the soaker hoses as much as I can but for trying to get some of these small seeds and carrots and whatnot started out in the garden you need to sprinkle a little bit so that's what that's for and the dugout water is murky enough i i don't really want to run it through these soaker hoses because the uh, holes are so fine i think it'll just plug everything up i do have a filter on the top there but uh it's it's a fair bit coarser than you would need to get water to go through these soaker hoses and then of course there isn't the pressure there so i'm looking for ideas for making a, a drip irrigation uh, soaker hose that i can run off gravity uh, to supplement our what we're doing with the house so the house is quite a ways away you can see the plug in over there for the water and it's just running over to the garden and I just buried a garden hose down a trench on our path at the halfway mark. That's the 50 foot mark. And I've got another, it's a one inch hose coming off of the water tank. This was just a bunch of junk we had laying around here. We buried it and I uh, put a, a couple of spigots here just in the middle of the garden. Uh, this one here has just got a timer on it. Uh, that's all for the house water, so I can turn on our, right now I'm, I'm watering a couple of rows of potatoes with a soaker hose. And I can just turn the water on, set the timer, and then I have, I can go to town or whatever I need and come back and it's put the same amount of water on everything that I planned on putting on. This other big one here is uh, the one inch hose coming in and it, uh, it's just coming off of the tank. So that's how we're running the whirly gig right now. I do have some uh, half inch uh, black, I don't know what you call it. It's black, hard, rigid pipe. You can roll it up, it's not that rigid, but um, I got some 16th inch holes drilled in it. And I have that over my Saskatoons over there. And I can just, turn that gravity feed onto that and they kind of drip out of there pretty good. So I was maybe thinking of doing something like that for like our potato beds and stuff, but I'm looking for ideas. So if you want to leave in the comments, uh, the best way to use gravity water for drip irrigation, I would love to know. Like I say, I got a, there is a filter up there, but it's, it's too coarse for uh, running through this fine stuff here. Anyways, that's what we're doing. Sure made the robin happy having a little bit of water. Thanks for watching.